Firehouse 94, you have a run, fully involved video from a shadow box. Details on your MDTs now. Hello, Firehouse 94, this is a shadow box, and welcome back to Immersive Colonies here in Minecraft version 1.12.2. You can see our cow farm is starting to yield results. Got a calf walking around here. And we did have another cow that I uh, actually already slaughtered. You can see I've got raw beef right here. And I've got plans for this one right here. Eventually. We'll get there in time. He's a lanky teenager right now. Actually, I hope that's a female cow for what I have in mind. But anyway, what we're going to be doing today. So, originally... I wanted to get into steel production this episode, but then I realized we need to go to the nether for steel production, and I'm not really ready for that yet, uh, because the nether is a terrible, scary place. And I want to have some um, protection, some further protection before we go there. And I'm thinking Batania can give us that protection. I'm hoping we'll be able to get there uh, without or before having to go to the nether, but I guess we will find out. So just gonna dump some of my inventory off here. Um, actually I might need some bones. Okay. Let me see, we've got some cheese aging here. From, uh, from our cows. Okay, so, to get started with Batania, we need the Lexica Batania. So, if we get some sugarcane and make a book. Oh, right. Books are now like this. I need a leather. And then, if we take any sapling, we got plenty of birch. So how about a sapling and a book gets us the Lexica Batania. The Lexica Batania will guide us through our Batania journey. Now, eventually, I want to set up a whole Batania area that's specific for Batania. However, for the time being, we're just going to find a place over here we can use. So let's see what we need to do with the Lexica Batania. So, a tutorial of the basics. While one could just go through the various entries in the book at their leisure, there is also a tutorial of sorts available. No, we already did that, okay. Basics and Mechanics, Lexica Batania. The Lexica Batania is the repository of all knowledge for all botanical matters, but you probably knew that already. All information is stored here as expected. For convenience, if a block happens to have an entry, it can be shift right clicked with the Lexica Batania to open that entry. Any entries typed in italics are basic entries, which contain the very basic knowledge required to play Batania and should be prioritized over others. Most of the sections contain one or more of such entries, so a good look through them is a good idea. The Lexica Batania title can also be customized by placing it in an anvil. Okay. Yep, I am aware of mystical flowers and petals, so we craft a mortar and pestle to make powder. And right-clicking the floral powder on any wool or carpet changes its color to the color of the powder, so it's dye. Uh, by mixing floral powder with some bone meal, it's possible to create floral fertilizer, which will grow a small amount of mystical flowers in the nearby vicinity. That's handy to know. Typical flower substances also works. Okay. 
These can only be gathered with shears, but can be used to obtain twice the amount of petals a normal flower would yield. They're a bit too big for dye, though. Tall flower variants can be made manually by fertilizing a mystical flower or a buried petal with bone meal. If you find yourself running low on a particular color, try burying a petal of that color and using bone meal on it. All right, good to know. Petal Apothecary. It is also getting night. Okay. Oh, you can also see I made a bookshelf from Bibliocraft. So we can store our books up here. All right, in order for a botanist to create plant life that can do their bidding, they would need a special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the Petal Apothecary does just that. I believe we need... Tossing in vines gives the block an overgrown visual. That's cool. So we need a petal, some cobblestone, and a couple of slabs. So we need to go looking for some mystical flowers. I think these are some right here. Nope, that's black lotus. Ah, these are over here though. Mystical grave flower from Batania. And these are mystical whites. Nope, they're just lily of the valley. All right, well, let's make a mortar and pestle. So we need a bowl. And was it this and this? Yep, pestle and mortar, same thing. No, it must be with this. Actually, can we use the pestle and mortar on bones to get more bone meal? No, we can't, that would be too convenient. Okay. So here's some floral fertilizer. We got a bare minimum amount. Would be great if we could get more. Oh, there's another one. It read my mind. Let's see what we can get up to with this. There's some purple, some gray, some orange, some yellow, magenta, and white. Let's get some cobblestone. All right, so this is the first time I'm playing with Batania, guys, so sorry if I'm not super proficient. Petal Apothecary, all right. So let's put our Batania stuff over on this island, because why not? I need to build some bridges connecting my islands.
All right. I know I'm going to need some white petals, so I don't have my shears with me. Shears. Did figure out the lunge on that sword, by the way. Just have to hold it down. Derp. Alrighty, so now we have tall mystical flowers. And we can do this. Now I believe, shoot, I need some seeds. Um, please give me seeds. Ooh, seeds, yes, okay. So just from watching Direwolf 20's videos, I think what we need to do is drop one, two, three, four, and then wham, pure daisy, awesome. And now we need some living stone. Also need to refill this. And we need regular stone to get living stone. Which I don't have any regular stone, I just have cobblestone. So we should cook some up. All right, we got our stone. Got a bunch of seeds. Now we just need some oak wood. Alrighty, let's get some living rock first. So in a minute, that should turn into living rock. Probably wouldn't hurt to have another pure daisy. Take a look at the Lexica Botania again. So we need three living wood twigs. All right. Our living rock is done. And it's sunset again. Really quick. Haha! -ha, mana pool. Of the forest. All right, we're getting somewhere. All right, guys, so we finally have what we need for our hydrangeas.
So I want to make four of them. Apparently I messed something up here. There we go. Now if we do two blue, two of those, and a seed. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. And one more. There we go. Four hydrangeas. gonna move one of my pure daisies back so we can get that piece of stone that wasn't converted. All right. So what was the sample they gave for hydrangeas? They're fleeting fauna, apparently, and will decay after one in-game hour, or not one in-game hour, one real-time hour. So we just got to keep that in mind, that we will have to replenish our hydroanges. Alright, let's see what I can come up with. So obviously, we can't have the water directly contact the flower. However, if each flower had a little something like this next to it. Oh, that's probably what this setup was. I probably can't eat more than one source block at a time. So that was probably the most efficient way to have it set up and what they showed. Was that a three by three? Yeah. Okay. my shovel. Three by three. Alright. And then this will be where our hydra hydro angels sit. And of course, to collect the mana that they're going to be creating, I need a mana spreader. And a mana spreader is crafted. Okay, I need you to settle down. A flower, a piece of gold, and living wood. Alright, gold is back there, so this is going to be fun. Ouch. This is not going to generate mana very fast. I know that. But this is like starting out mana generation. 
All right, we need the actual flower. I saw a flower up here. A couple of flowers up here. I'm hoping it doesn't need to be the specific one. Oh, is that not? Oh, that was just a blue orchid. Okay. The recipe was clicking through so fast, I'm not sure if it's any flower or if it's a specific one. Please work. It's a specific one. Okay. So let's use J-E-I then. Mana spreader. Oh, they're petals. Okay, petals or shimmering mushrooms. Well, we already have this one, so petal. There we go, mana spreader. Now let's just pop this mana spreader right there. Let's get our wand of the forest, put it in bind mode. You are going to be bound there. Why are you not pointing there? All right, let's try. I mean, this is like a magical thing, right? So it doesn't really matter if it's floating. It can float there, that'll be fine. That won't bother me. Mana pool can sit there. All right, maybe I need to read more about the Wand of the Forest. shift right click. There we go. All right, we're getting mana. Excellent. Should probably find something else as well. So what for generating flora, how about an endo flame? An endo flame is two brown, one red, one gray. Two brown, one red, one gray. I can probably do that again. Two brown one red, one gray. It's not gray, maybe it was light gray. Yep, it was light gray. Darn it. All right.
There we go. Let's do that one more time. Alright, and now our endo flames can go here, because why not? I have to move that pure daisy. Okay, now I want some coal. Do we have a dropper? Automatic precision dropper. Need some palace crystals. Two from blue crystal shards. Yeah, not in any. We're atomic reconstructor, a lapis. We're not ready for an atomic reconstructor. Cobblestone. You could try that. Could try, try a vanilla dropper with a pressure plate. And let's get a few blocks of coal. Pressure plate, you. Now with our wand of the forest, we should be able to shoot. Will this drop straight down? Oh, it's not working like I want it to already. Shoot. Alrighty, well... We're not really in any position to build an atomic reconstructor, I don't think. Oh, actually we might, but I have a feeling that requires power and we don't have any way to generate power. Tiny bit of mana. You guys are all linked up. Yep, all linked up. We are getting lots of mana from our uh, endo flames here. They're still burning away. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, hopefully with the editing, this episode will be cut down quite a bit. Uh, it's been over an hour real time just for me to get this far because I'm trying to learn the mod as I'm playing, and that's probably not a smart idea. But we'll continue with Batania in the next episode, and I'll do some research and see exactly what I need. 
I might do some stuff off camera. Um, I'm also thinking about upgrading my house. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I want to do on camera. It's not related to Batania. It is related. It made me think of it. Uh, it's talking about what I wanted to do with my house. I need a way to smelt massive amounts of cobblestone and glass and things of that nature. So, I need my seared bricks. Let me just see if I can get rid of some of this stuff real quick. I need my seared bricks. I need one of these furnaces. And I'm going to need a piece of glass. I know it's wasteful of the whole coal, but whatever. Alrighty, so similar to the Tinker's smeltery, we can make a Tinker's furnace. And basically what this is, it's a lava-powered furnace. And it makes... Well, it smelts things really fast. <laughs> I'll show you. Let's get out there as soon as it becomes day again. Right here is as good a place as any. Actually, second thought, we I don't need one this large. At least not right now. And let's get rid of this tree. Alrighty, so very similar to the smell tree. Major difference though is it does matter where you place the tank. tank must be on an outside corner like this. There we go. That's our tanker's smeltery. And this will allow us if I just snag some lava really quick. I love how efficient these things are. We haven't had to go back to refill our lava tank yet. We will eventually, but we just haven't had to yet. Alrighty, let's grab, say, four stacks of cobble. Let's see if we can fit four stacks of cobble into this furnace at once. Oh yeah, we can. And we still have room for another half a stack of cobble. So we can smelt four and a half stacks of an item at once, because when, uh, this bar to the left of the number fills up all the way, it will all be smelted. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this for material. We're going to be smelting up some cobblestone into smooth stone. I'm going to be smelting up some clay into bricks. And in between episodes, I'm likely going to be tearing down this structure and replacing it with something quite a bit fancier and kind of suiting the whole farm vibe that we got going on here. So. Now, thank you very much for joining me, guys, and until next time, have a good one. Command, dispatch, Firehouse 94 in service, incident terminated.